Hey guys, Dave McCall here with National Rescue Consultants with another installment at TRT, uh, Tech Rescue Tips. Today we're going to be going over patient packaging, how we lash into the Stokes basket here at NRC. We do it a little bit differently, we're going to walk through it. First thing you guys are going to need is obviously your Stokes basket your victim. Next is the cam buckle straps that are attached to our Stokes basket. These come with them, these are cam buckle straps. And lastly, your victim is going to need to be in a harness. Whether it's a victim harness, a beast harness, or a class 3 harness, it doesn't matter, they just do, they do need to be in a harness for this. The way we lash our patients into stoke basket is by utilizing for cells. We're going to go over how to create for cells in a later video, but for now, this is 8 mil cordage cut at 17 feet tied into a for cell. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here, grab a vertical post of our stoke basket, we're going to girth it, come back down through our, uh, our loop in our victim strap, victim harness, it'll come back. Grab another vertical post, put the hair in, and we're going to tighten up our cell. The reason that we do the towel first is because when this basket goes from horizontal to vertical, we don't want to load the shift at all. These are going to uh, counteract each other and they're going to keep that load locked right in the middle of our stokes basket. The next thing we're going to do, same thing here at the bottom, we're going to girth one of our vertical posts, pass it through the loop in our victim harness. We want to make sure we're doing here is we're not interlocking the cells. We're capturing the bottom half of the loop in this victim harness. That way, there's no uh, there's no slack in the loop of the victim harness. It's held nice and tight. We're going to go back to the vertical post, lock our hair hanger off, and tighten up the cell. That way, this is nice and tight. He's not going anywhere. The reason that we do this here is because these Crisels, super lightweight, super reusable, and they uh, can serve a variety of purposes on a rescue ground. A lot of places that we work with and that we teach have eight mil cordage laying around in bulk, so this is a super easy thing that if we hurt this or if we burn it up, we can go cut some more and get it right back into service, all right? Lightweight, easy to do, super fast, as you guys can see. Again, Dave McCall here with TRT. Train off and train to live.